Hello and welcome back to Merc Gaming. This is going to be episode 26 of our Hogwarts Legacy walkthrough. Right now, we're going to do the quest where we have to go purchase a broom. I'm sure what his head the hogs need. I believe this shop was closed earlier in the, the game. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. You see the little quest marker there for this one. Revelio. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Let's clear out the shop real quick. Revelio. Okay, let's see what this guy gets. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay, Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? So they all cost 600. I think they're all the only difference is, is just their uh, design. We can't buy the Hogwarts house broom. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That we'll sounds it. intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once okay. you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Let's go to the Quidditch pitch. Which is right here. Do we have a... Yeah, right there, hold on. Okay. Let's activate our broom. Just hit the tab key and click on. You, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, 
And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Okay. I think that's her time right there, Seth. Oh! Oh! Did it! more like it. See that? I think that's good enough to beat her. Let's see. Ah, uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah. Uh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Okay. I think we could check. Yeah, let's see the leaderboard. So we did a 149. So we had the second fastest time. Only Ruby. I Wheel. suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. That's a better time than us. I don't know if I could. If I ran a little bit cleaner there at the one part, I could have probably beat that. But I might need an upgrade for that too. So let's look at flight test. We got to turn to Albie Weeks. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, 
you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Rays must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm, how to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Upgrade. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Looking for today. There we go. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Okay, let's see what quest we got. Oh, the summer. That might be fun to do real quick. Oh, so I think we did this class, or did this uh, game in a class we had. I think we got beat, too. I think we competed against Natty. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Okay. Akio. Oh, so he took a bad bounce there. Damn want. Here. Ah. I took a bad Up here. Yeah. So now see he did his there. Try to beat that. Damn one it. for the ages. Akio. Is that going to be points for that? I thought I would have got points. I thought you could knock their balls off. Nothing to it. Oh, it did take my points off. Akio. Oh, it's gonna be close. 
You're not bad at this. Hmm, <laughs> tie game. At least you didn't beat me. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Yeah, we'll do one more. I'm grand. game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the oh, ever-changing yeah, game. Lender, Lender. Akio. <laughs> All in the wrist. So I try to grab him. Akio. Knock his off. But usually I end up just giving him more points. That was one for the ages. Akio. Try to beat that. Eh, <laughs> lucky shot. Akio. I might put mine up in there. Nothing to it. Akio. I'll let you have that one. Hmm. <laughs> Tie game. Oh, At least you didn't again. beat me. We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Now I think I'm good. Another time, perhaps. Can't say I blame you. Perhaps come back when you're a bit more prepared to beat someone of my skill. Oh, wait a minute. Do I get to beat him? Let's play someone as caught. Back for more, eh? Ready then? I guess I gotta beat this dude. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. So I want to, like, grab here. Akio. Ah, don't fall. That was one for the ages. God. Akio. Sucks. Try to beat that. I'm gonna try to knock yours right off. Oh, we're not winning this one. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Here. Nothing to it. So where do you have to release that? Akio. This is the yellow. You gotta do like the yellow more to the. Not top. bad. Not bad. Wait, did I win? I won. We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Care yeah, to yeah. go again? I'm game for another. Grand! You could use the practice. All right. Summoner's Court, the ever changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Oh, what the heck? 
I've seen worse. Akio. Try to beat that. Yeah, he really knocked his ball out now. Yeah, lucky shot. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. Nope, I just I'll let made you have that score one. higher. Man, he beat me again. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that yeah, round. Yeah, let's play again. Okay. I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. You have to do it near the end that of was the one yellow for the ages. line. Akio. Come on, Leander. Oh. I don't know what to do that one. I'll just give him more points. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. To his last ball. Try to beat that. At least need a 30. Without knocking him up into the 50s. Uh... Here. No! Son of a... Didn't think you were a match for me. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. So you get 50 on that one. Nothing to it. So I should be able to pull... Akio. Drop it right here. That was one for the ages. Akio. All in the wrist. I don't want to pull that one. Maybe this one here. Akio. Oops, I hit that side thing. Damn it. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Akio. See, he bounces it and it like doesn't go twirl back. Try to beat that. Yeah, I need to knock. <laughs> See, my kill off and his stay on. I've seen worse. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm game for another round. I don't think I'm Grand. very good at this game. You could use the practice. All right. Let's get serious this round. We're going to win. Summoner's Court. Tell. The ever changing game. Akio. There, finally, one of his went off. My, uh, my wand slipped. This is the one. Akio! So hold it so right about here. Let it go, and it should get right into blue. That was one for the ages. Akio. Don't want to hit any of these things, so let's Akio. pull it off. Eh, lucky shot. Akio. Nothing to it. Gonna say if that game froze up. Well done. You beat me. froze there for a second. Bit of good luck. That's all. Yeah, pretty much. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good <laughs> enough to keep playing. You just beat me like the others. I lost in a row. seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. <laughs> Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and Poor that you Leander. passed. He won like 10 in a row. I don't know. I have to go back and check so many games he won in a row, but... And he acts like I'm like... He acts like he got his ass kicked. <laughs> we have four left. Okay. Let's see what other quests we got here. That one we need some energy. Oh. Oh, he teaches configuration. Let's go do this quest. This is a main quest. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Handy I'm most rebellious to be included. been a while it has glad you received my owl i have something to show you first let me thank you for what you did in the library of course scribner tried to give me detention but i have ways out of these things well you took the fall for me and that counts for something did you find what you were looking for i did but something was missing i'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it 
Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Revelio! We used to play here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Get it. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. So we're going to use... Four. I can never heal. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Okay. Hey, one second. We're gonna end this episode here. I'll see you all in a little bit.